Dave Pennington is no stranger to the concept of keeping the beat, though lately Dave's heart is not keeping a steady beat of its own. I would probably still be walking around with this problem that could in fact cause me to die. An irregular heartbeat was the first symptom. Now the task to return Dave back to perfect timing through a revolutionary procedure called ablation. We're pacing the heart uh, to try to get him back into atrial flutter. It's at the very heart of your existence. And each beat preserves another moment of life. Knowing what your heart needs to stay healthy throughout the years comes from being well informed. Caring for your heart so the beat goes on. About one in every 100 people has some type of arrhythmia. Karen Jones is being prepped to receive radio frequency ablation, a non-surgical procedure for patients who were born with or developed a dangerous periodic short-circuiting inside the heart, which can cause one type of arrhythmia or rapid heart rhythm. I felt when I would have an episode of it, my heart rate would go up to 220. And so it would like feel like it was beating out of my chest. So the only way to get rid of it was to go to the emergency room and get a shot. It is estimated that more than 15,000 catheter ablations are performed nationwide each year. Results from a recent study by physicians at John Hopkins University have shown that ablations are 95% curative after the first treatment, eliminating the need for patients to be on a lifelong regimen of drug medication. Karen had obvious symptoms of her dangerous arrhythmia, Symptoms may be palpitations, rapid heartbeat, dizziness, lightheadedness, fainting, or near fainting. However, symptoms are not always displayed, giving it the name the silent killer. Dave Pennington had no idea he had a serious arrhythmia problem. But I'm a prime example of doing all the right things at all the right times. I walk four miles a day. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I try and take care of myself. I get plenty of rest and plenty of sleep. But lo and behold, I have, <laughs> I have an irregular heartbeat. For years, Dave Pennington has tuned pianos wherever pianos exist. Indoors, outdoors, in churches or homes. Any place there's a piano, Dave can tune them. I've tuned for a lot of different people. I've, I've tuned for uh, very big stars to uh, people, uh, people you've heard of, maybe some you haven't heard of. I've tuned for George Burns, the Supremes, Steve Allen, Jimmy Swaggart, Willie Nelson, uh, Molly Hatchett. <laughs> I've tuned for Probably at some point in time, I've probably tuned a piano for just about anybody you can think of. See how much better you play? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Before it was tuned, you couldn't play a note. No, I do not <laughs> play anything. <laughs> kind of interesting. There's uh, we've lost two or three piano tuners, and there's only a few active piano tuners in the Central Florida area, and. Um, I know for a fact that two of the three of them died with heart attacks. And they were uh, in the process of e either working or moving on a piano when it happened. Um, life was going along pretty smoothly. I was going to the doctor and having tests done, trying to make sure that my heart was fine. And everything was going well until all of a sudden <laughs> I hit a sour note at the blood mobile and found out that I had an irregular heartbeat. Now I've got to do something about getting my heart back in tune so it won't sound like this very badly out of tune piano. Any deviation from the heart's natural rhythm or beat rate is called an arrhythmia. The condition can range from mild, in which you have a single extra heartbeat, to severe with continuous rapid contractions that can cause cardiac arrest. Many arrhythmias are temporary and can be a result of alcohol, caffeine, stress, or exhaustion. But when an irregular heartbeat persists and is noticeable, it's vital to see a doctor. Immediately, Dave made an appointment with his doctor and was seen the following morning. After basic tests and an EKG, it was determined that Dave indeed had an irregular heartbeat. Are you hungry? Dave Pennington has been diagnosed with a potentially fatal arrhythmia problem. The next testing procedure for Dave is a heart catheterization, followed by an electrophysiologic, or EP, study, 
A study where an irregular heartbeat is diagnosed with a specialized mapping procedure of the heart's electrical system that is done at the same time as the catheterization. When the problem, atrial flutter, was diagnosed, medications were tried, but for Dave, they did not work. The next option was cardioconversion, a procedure that uses an electrical shock to attempt to jolt the heart into a normal rhythm. Uh, the cardioconversion worked for just a few hours. At that point, I met Dr. Scott Pollock, and uh, it, was, it was discussed that the next step in the procedure would be ablation and that he would be the one that would be completing that procedure for me. Mr. Pennington was found to be in an arrhythmia which is called atrial flutter, which is a tachycardia or fast heartbeat, which many times patients will have no knowledge that they're in. Dr. Scott Pollock is an electrophysiologist and cardiologist in Orlando, Florida. As an electrophysiologist, I see many patients who are referred by other cardiologists for evaluation of different rhythm disturbances, ranging from threatening rhythm disturbances where patients ultimately end up with a defibrillator to arrhythmias, which are more of a, a, a bother rather than being threatening and require certain types of, of therapy. In terms of diagnosis of arrhythmia, arrhythmias tend to be transient events. They're not present all the time and we have different types of monitoring capabilities that detect these rhythm disturbances. We also have invasive means, meaning tests that involve putting catheters into the body where many times we're able to induce an arrhythmia that a patient may have uh, at some other time. There are many different types of arrhythmias, but generally the arrhythmias that bother people uh, you cannot be avoided. Uh, it's popular to tell people that if you avoid stress, you avoid uh, nicotine, you avoid stimulants, uh, coffee, that your heart will not race or not skip. But generally it's completely out of an individual's control whether or not uh, arrhythmias occur. The normal heartbeat would be like a clock. Uh, it occurs uh, every second and uh, you know exactly when the next beat is going to occur. Of course, there are normal exceptions to that. Physical activity accelerates the heartbeat. Some activities slow the heartbeat. Exhale through your nose. But uh, the normal situation is that the heartbeat is regular. The human heart beats more than 30 million times a year. Your heart's pumping or rhythm is controlled by steady electrical signals produced by its natural pacemaker, the sinus atrial node. The heart has uh, an electrical system, which is the uh, general system that keeps the heart beating uh, on time. Every cell in the heart, every part of the heart, also has its own electrical system that, for various reasons, has the ability to take over as an independent focus or independent site in the heart outside the normal electrical system and can discharge, causing the heart to race. Of the estimated 350,000 people in the United States who die annually of sudden cardiac arrest death, many are felt to have had a hidden problem with their heart rhythm called tachyarrhythmia. This is a heartbeat that is too fast and is caused by a disturbance in the electrical activity that regulates each beat. Some symptoms related to this condition include dizziness, fainting, or palpitations. If I hadn't had this come up at, you know, at trying to give blood at the blood mobile, I would probably still be walking around with this problem that could in fact cause me to die because it's, it's kind of a silent killer type situation because I had at this point really no indication that there was anything wrong. Stay tuned. I lost my father at 55 years old with a heart attack and both of his, his next two youngest brothers have died with heart attacks at early ages. Your future health could be in your genes. Coronary artery disease certainly has a hereditary or genetic basis. When the beat goes on.